very different artists uh, who belong to a different generation, have a very different background, and whose work has been produced in a very different cultural context. Yet they have at least two important elements in common. Uh, one is the reference to Alistair Crowley, and the other one is the use of uh, a visual language which could be defined as uh, psychedelic. Now, a couple of words about Alistair Crowley, uh, who has been mentioned already uh, before. Alistair Crowley is uh, certainly the most uh, famous, uh, notorious occultist uh, of the 20th century. And uh, so it would be difficult, uh, you know, in, in a few minutes, to give a detailed biography uh, of this person. But uh, let's say that his life was filled with uh, sex, drugs, and magic. So he mixed the three elements in all possible combinations uh, during his life. And uh, this is probably the reason why, at one point, was called the wickedest uh, man in the world. Um, now, in many ways, uh, Crowley um, uh, anticipated some of uh, the ideas and perhaps also the practices that became fashionable uh, during the countercultural period uh, in the 60s. So many protagonists of that uh, era, in fact, were very much influenced by Crowley or were inspired by his figure. That's the case, for instance, with Timothy Leary, just to mention one of them. And um, so the important thing to know uh, before watching these films is that Crowley created a sort of uh, commune or community of disciples uh, in Sicily uh, between 1920 and 1923. Uh, eventually he was kicked out by uh, Mussolini, who had just got to power and uh, who was a bit annoyed by the presence of this um, strange individual uh, uh, on Italian land. But, um, so this community was a kind of social experiment, social, esoteric, occult uh, experiment. And uh, the three elements I mentioned before, sex, drugs and magic, were very much uh, daily <coughs> lot of the persons who uh, were members of this community. Now, this um, uh, presence, Crowley, uh, this Abbey of Thelema, as Crowley called his community, very much is in the background of the two works uh, we are going to, to see now. Now, uh, first of all, a few words about uh, the film by Kenneth Anger. Uh, I am going to um, talk about the two works in the reverse order. Uh, of the one we are going to see them, because we are going to see first uh, the film by Joachim Köster and then the film by Kenneth Anger, but just for this small introduction I prefer to follow uh, the chronological order. So, uh, Anger's film is probably <coughs> uh, his masterpiece, or so I uh, like to consider it, the title is Inauguration uh, of the Pleasure Dome. The title is inspired by a famous poem by Coleridge, Samuel Taylor Coleridge, in the first lines of Kublai Khan, uh, a poem which was uh, supposed to have been written 